Because the popularity of the active balance part of the e-bike build was popular and everybody wanted me to do a comparison between shit and good, uh, I bought two just to please you. This is a shit one, as I've already tested. It's brand spanking new. It's actually a... I can't remember. A 14S. So, that's a 14S. That's one of the active balances that I used last time that just did not work at all. So hopefully I'm going to get a bit more result this time. This is an expensive one. This comes with a full operation manual, completely, absolutely 100% in manganese. Unbelievable. So, and it came from the UK. It is quite heavy, it's a beefy piece of kit, it's more in the weight line of a BMS, in fact it's probably heavier than a BMS. As this thing boots up it goes through all the resistance wires and everything and it tests all the resistance to make sure that everything's okay, to make sure it either hasn't gone a short or it's disconnected. As you can see everyone that's populated is coming up out. Hang on, there you go, there's another one. That goes up to 14 obviously. This BMS, it's not a BMS, it's actually a balancer or an active balancer, is knackered. Finally this thing's come in. Anyway, the replacement has finally arrived. I mean, it's it's been, what, two months I think it is, since I originally, where is it? There's the box, there's the case. This thing's knackered. I don't know what it is, I don't know why, I don't know how. It communicates, uh, but it just, the internal resistance, which this thing does, the, it does the internal resistance and the resistance of the wires, and I don't know, it don't work. When it gets through the list, it, it just fails, basically. What I'll do is, I'll disconnect this. All these wires, I know these aren't used. I don't want to cut them off purely because I might need this box. In fact, I am going to need this box. If I disconnect that, It bleeps at you. And then you open the app and it should automatically connect. Now you'll see the cell wire resistance, which will also be the internal resistance of the battery combined, it starts populating it. Well, the other one, it fail, 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 fail. It fails in every single one of them. So that'll go up to, th that's 0 to 13, so that's 14 cells populated. I purposely charged from cell 10 to 14 up and I've discharged cell number 1. Now the app isn't very good actually because cell number 1 there is actually wire number 0. And there's 14, 13, 14 wires, in actual fact there's 15 wires I think. It ain't very good. <laughs> anyway, you've got a setting screen. You do your cell count. You trigger delta voltage, well that's the actual <sighs> bit of hair on there. That's a cat hair. What? I'm getting cat hairs everywhere. Trigger delta voltage, which is the difference in voltage between the cells before it actually triggers. That is the minimum it goes. It only goes down to 5 millivolts. It won't go any lower than that, which is a bit annoying. Don't know why, but it doesn't. The maximum cell current, you can only set that up to 1 amp. These are only a 1 amp box that there so you can only set it to one amp your power cutoff voltage is the minimum voltage of the battery uh, before it stops balancing so if I set that to 2.8 volts that's set that the voltage calibration you measure the voltage of the battery and you've got your voltage on there when you go on there it automatically populates so you adjust that you can't adjust the cell voltage why I don't know, you can do the total battery voltage, not the cell voltage. The control screen is for another machine by the looks of it. Don't know. I have on here one of those cheap um, voltage readouts. 
which is actually calibrated with my meter. So that says 3.12 volts, although you're probably not going to be able to see it very well. And that there says 3.151. So it's not, it ain't far out. Now when this has gone through all its internal resistance checking and everything else, um, if the balance switch there, if that's already selected then it automatically starts balancing. Otherwise it doesn't. So what you do is you select that and now it's going into balance mode so it's starting to, it should be starting to charge that. Which as you can see, or you could probably can't see, that says 3.13 volts. So it's actually putting charge into that already. But that says 3.15 volts. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put that like that there. And then I'm going to leave it on. I'm going to leave that, you can see the time running right, right at the very top. That's how long it's been running. It's now balancing. Uh, can I put that anywhere? so I can get that in shot. Now you can see all the individual voltages and you can see that one low voltage cell. That's all I'm going to do purely because I want to visually see that. I'm going to leave it running, I'm going to do a time lapse. So here we go. I'm just going to stop it for a minute. Uh, the reason being, I need to explain something. This has been going now for what, one hour, 24 minutes? And you can see that's at 3.47 volts now, so it is working very slowly, but it is working. The reason why I haven't put any current sensor on here is because I don't know how it works. It's obvious that it's working, but I don't know if that one amp. Um, that one amp dissipation is per cable or per lot, if you see what I mean. So that's the reason why I haven't put a current sensor on there is because it doesn't matter. It's not. It's not important. Um, so what I'm going to do, if I can find my glasses and bloody see anything, I'm fucking blind as a fucking bat. Yeah, oh, look at that. I can see now. Sorry, 1 hour 25 minutes that's been going, and that's now at 3.49 volts. Well, that's uh, saying 3.51 volts. So, I'm going to set it up again, and I'm going to leave it going for however long else. Probably about another 2 or 3 hours, I suppose.
stop it again purely because I need my phone <laughs> I need to make a phone call so I'm going to pause it then I'm going to resume it and I'm going to fight this thing to the very end and I don't know how long it's going to take but I need the phone I think what I'll do from time for I think what I'll do from time to time because I need the phone occasionally to make phone calls or send messages is oh you can't see the thing there it is I'll keep uh, coming back just to see what the voltage is I mean we're talking what is it 365 millivolts difference at the minute um, coincidentally that's 365 and we're on 365 millivolt difference so I'll keep coming back and testing it and checking to make sure it's not going to set on fire or getting too hot. I'll be interested to find out exactly what the ending voltage of the battery is because that technically should not change whatsoever. So I'm interested to see how much voltage it's actually lost through heat, how much, how much wasted energy it uses through heat. Cut a big, big. I've cut a big part of it out purely because it was taking too long, and as you can see, the time has reset now to what three minutes and eight seconds because I've just started it up again. I thought I'd get the last bit. Don't know why. I'm just interested to see the time lapse. So here we go for the last bit. I don't know what happened, it crashed, so I've got to restart it. Literally, I had to unplug it. I don't like that. It wouldn't connect if I didn't unplug it. Well, this is finally finished. Um, you notice now that the delta cell difference, or whatever it is, is at six millivolts. This keeps clicking in and out now because it keeps going down to four, and that's where the cutoff is. It's been anything below five. It's taken, I reckon, around about 16 hours to do. It is how I thought it was. It's one amp per discharge per. Uh, f I don't even know how to explain it. It's not one amp per balance lead, it's one amp maximum, that's all it will take. So if we say that cell number 14 is the highest voltage and cell number 1 is the lowest, it will pass one amp to that and then it will move, it will keep moving up and down and actually balancing them like that. So it's not something like 14 amps in total, if you see what I mean, on a 14 cell pack. 
Because I want to use a bigger pack on my, my solar panel um, build, um, I'm probably going to use this rather than putting this in the bike because like I say it's locked me out once unless I can find a way of disconnecting and reconnecting it rather than unplugging the cables uh, I don't know what to use I might use this on the bike if I can find a way of disconnecting it otherwise I'm just going to use it so as if it does lock me out I can just unplug it and replug it there you go folks it does work it's taken a long time to do this and I've got a lot of messages I've got to answer now by the looks of it so I'm heading off